This is Twit. Well, my first kit is an alternative to Habit Kit because, I mean, Habit Kit looks great and I love the idea of using it, but I've been using Henry Habit for a while. Um, and what I love about Henry Habit is it's cute, it's simple, uh, but it's still very powerful. It's got the ability to do all sorts of things um, with it. So I can tap on plus to create a new habit um, and I can either say, I'll create it myself or I can say, hey, help me create a habit. And it's actually going to give me information about, uh, you know, creating habits. So triggers, including, you know, things you see um, and how you're feeling um, and the reward and what this this summarizes as. Um, and then, uh, you know, gives you some more information and then it gives you some good starter habits. Um, so go for a walk eat some fruit, spend time with my family, plan my day. Um, and then there's some ones about staying healthy. So swimming, eating vegetables, um, or if you're looking to lose weight, eat smaller portions um, or skip coffee. Don't eat sugar, things like that. Skip so coffee? I'm actually going to scroll. I know for some people <laughs> that would that would be the end of the world. But instead, I'm going to select this one, which is plan my day. And I'm just going to confirm it. Um, and then it gives you some tips on helping you to stick with it, which is, is really nice. It's, there's 11 tips there. Um, and then, um, yeah, it's got a little quote. And um, plan my day as a new habit starting today, repeating daily. Now, I've got really good news. I did that. Yay. Success for me. So I've tapped it. It's done. And it um, is completed. I've also eaten some fruit. I haven't, however, done some exercise yet. I still need to go to my ballet class later today. Um, but, uh, you know, this is, you know, just a very nice way of doing things. So I've done 9% of my habits this week. Um, and if I scroll over to uh, the right, then, oops, I can actually see that, um, you know, eat some fruit is checked off on Tuesday. Um, and so is plan my day, but do some exercise isn't. Um, and, uh, you know, I can actually tap on it and get some more details. Now, if I edit this and I say that, hey, I actually want to start it next week, then I can, but I can't go back in time. But I can change my habit type. So I I can increase it to do it twice a day, for example, or I could not do it on Fridays, or I could change it to weekly and I could do it, say, three times a week. Um, or I could use a timer that says do it for 10 minutes, um, or I can just change it to any time. Now, I'm actually going to just go back and undo this um, and I will just create another empty habit uh, myself. Oop, that is very empty. That's not quite <laughs> what I was uh, looking to do. Uh, that is, uh, so there we go. I'll just uh, tell you what, I will get rid of uh, plan my day. I think something's got a little funny because I didn't restore my in-app purchases. Um, but there we go. So now I'm just going to create um, a habit um, and I'll just say it's an anytime with a one minute timer, um, which is just going to be for example purposes. Um, and I'll just call it test and add. Um, there we go. So now when I go to complete it, it gives me a timer and this timer will just progress around the screen. Now, obviously this is only set to one minute, but if you wanted to spend three minutes planning your day, then you could do this and it will just pop it up on screen so that you have a little visual reminder of how much time you have. And I found this to be incredibly useful for things like, hey, I just wanted to get into the habit of spending like five minutes cleaning my kitchen every day. Just five minutes, that's all. Um, and obviously I can spend more than five minutes doing it, but five minutes is the bare minimum. Um, and then I set a five minute habit in Henry Habit and I tap on it and say, I'm gonna do it now. Um, and then it's, you know, giving me a timer to count down. And then when it finishes, it will be done. Now, if I cancel before the time is up, then it won't log it. Um, so you do have to complete the time, which I think is quite a nice uh, thing to do there. Um, but yeah, this is just a very nice, gentle habit app. Um, and uh, it's uh, 199 or was 199 to download. I believe they may have adjusted that now so that it is actually uh, uh, free to download um, and then there is an in-app purchase um, where you can uh, unlock all of the habits. Uh, you can just do a lifetime unlock for uh, $20 um, or you can do it monthly to just try it out for a month for uh, $5. Um, and then there's also a yearly one for uh, 24 99, which is a little strange. I think the lifetime option is better. I suspect the lifetime option is for people who had the previous version. But now my habit is done, so I can tap close and look at that. Test is complete. Ta-da. Hey there, I'm Micah Sargent. Look, as a geek myself, I feel it's only fair if I admit something. We can be kind of hard to shop for. So what do you get for that geek in your life who has everything already? Well, a Club Twit gift subscription, of course. 
Twit Podcasts keep them informed and entertained with the most relevant tech news podcasts available. With a Club Twit subscription, they're going to get access to all of our podcasts ad-free, exclusive outtakes, behind the scenes and special content, and I love this, exclusive shows like my own Hands on Mac and Hands on Windows from Paul Therott, as well as the Untitled Linux Show. So purchase your geek's gift at twit.tv slash clubtwit, and they will thank you every day. Every day.